Let's finish up a project from earlier in the year by basing our Jackalope battle mech from Battletech. I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. For base details, I'm going to be working with some crushed seashells. I bought these from a local hobby store. And once you paint them up, they can either look like rocks or more natural hills as part of the landscape that the mech is walking on. Put a little bit of glue down in one section of the hex space where it's empty and place one of the small pieces of the crushed seashell down. Just kind of build up a little bit of a hill using several of those pieces. <laughs> Give that about a minute or two to dry and we can go ahead and call this part of the process done. The next step is gonna to be to base this miniature. And for that, I'm just gonna start with a layer of gray on the rocks. So let's get some more Dawnstone gray out from Games Workshop Citadel line of paints and just kind of slather that all over the rocks. There we go. Even some of the black is showing through, that's fine. We'll play with that a little bit later. Now, while that's drying, I want to coat most of the rest of the inside of the hex base there with a dark brown color. Something like, in this case, I think I'll use Oak Brown from the Army War Painter series. And as usual, don't worry too much if you get a little bit of the paint on the miniature's feet. Well, that is drying. Before we can go back and work on the rocks, there's a tiny bit more. I'm gonna give the rest of the hex base a nice flat black coating. So for that, we're gonna work with some bad and black from Games Workshop Citadel line of paints. All right, so our next step here with the base is gonna to be to apply a black wash. So I'm gonna be going back to the Nun Oil shade. This is the non-gloss version, and I'm gonna be applying that over the rocks as well as the brown base. You don't have to apply it all over the brown base color, just enough to get a little bit of variation in the color of the brown. The black wash that I put on the base as a miniature is dry, and I like how it all looks. So the last step is to apply a little bit of flocking to the miniature's base. I don't need to cover all the brown color, just maybe half of it. I'm doing a little bit of a random pattern so you can't quite tell what's going on. So you need to use some sort of glue substance. In this case, I've just got some Mod Podge sitting around, so that'll work perfectly fine, but PVA glue or wood glue, whatever you may have, would work perfectly fine as well. I've got two colors of foliage over here. I've got weeds from Woodland Scenics, and I got some other color of old Woodland Scenics mixed with a few tiny little rocks to it. So what I'm actually got here is I don't want to use my nice expensive brushes for this process. So I've got a piece of the sprue this miniature came on and I'm just going to use that to spread around some glue or some the Mod Podge on the base. So I'm going to hold them, I'm holding the miniature over the cup of flocking. I'm just going to take a little bit of, the, of it and just start sprinkling it around the base. This is one of the green colors of flocking. And that's going to be pretty good there. I'll just kind of shake it off by a little bit by bumping the miniature up against the base of the flocking container. And then clean off any of the flocking that got on the black parts of the hex base. And to help sell a little bit of a realistic effect, that's where I'm going to apply a second color of flocking. So I'm going to bring over here the weeds color and I'm going to repeat the same process. Just hold the miniature over the bag and sprinkle some of this sprinkle some of this colored flocking on the base as well and then shake it off and then clean off any excess flocking that you do so with that all done once the flocking is dried we can call this jackalope complete well that concludes our jackalope miniature series once again i'm jason the creator of the tabletop battlefield go ahead and hit subscribe here on youtube because the latest videos of well tabletop gaming robotics or you know whatever i have me thinking about this particular week so thank you guys all for watching and have a great week